All right, I'm going to show another new feature here called texture mapping in PC Crash 11.0. There's an example included where uh, we have some damage shown on a vehicle. So I'm going to load in the vehicle from this example. I'm going to load in the 3D uh, map shape and the Direct, uh, the, the DXF, because you can't uh, do this projection of textures onto a 3D map shape right now. Uh, we'll just select this vehicle. I've got my draw menu open. Pick it, and it takes a little while to pick all the facets on this. I'm going to go to drawing. I see a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on there. Alright, so if I look in 3D, you can see I've got one vehicle that's just some geometry and the other one that has some colors and textures on it already. So what I want to do is I've got an image showing some damage to this corner of the vehicle. And I want to try and map that image onto this uh, DXF shape. So what I'm going to do is use my DirectX 3D shape as a 3D model to figure out where this uh, picture was taken from in order to do the mapping of textures. You could already do this in 10.2 using point clouds, but the advantage of textures is it's continuous with the zooming. So I'm going to load the background image. Here's my image. I'm going to go to my display options and change it so I show the uh, background image in the foreground. Let's me toggle between these a little easier. All right, so I want to find a camera position that kind of matches where we are here. Let's make it a little more transparent. You can do this with uh, scenes as well. Okay, so a little more on top, something like this. All right. Now you see my 3D shape has a bit of a different headlight shape, but all the fenders and whatnot are about the same shape. So I'm gonna do just a quick map on the match on this. So I'm gonna let the Optimize or finish it off. I'm going to add some camera calibration points, make this opaque, and then pick a point on my bitmap, toggle over and do my point on a 3D shape, and then same over here, and find different identifiable points on both shapes. Maybe this point on the logo. And then, if I have enough points specified, the optimizer can try to find camera parameters that result in a match in position. So I, got, I like this little zoom reticle that's been added. Makes it a little easier to tell where you are. Okay, I don't think I want to go in here because that part's been damaged. All right, all right. Just make it a little transparent, just a while I watch it optimize. Okay, well that's pretty good. Could be a little better. I might have to rotate the vehicle or change the... So you're matching that pretty closely. So I'll just map the textures on this section here is not so good over here, but this part of the match is pretty good. So let's just leave that like that. I'm going to save my camera position. Save camera. I'm going to call this photo. So now, if I want to look around somewhere else with this off, I can always flip back to my photo position. So, now let's take this shape here, 
so many DXFs, I mean so many uh, facets that are picked. Alright, and I want to not move one of these guys, but drag the whole shape up. So I'm going to try to drag my DXF over top of my 3D shape. So I can do the same thing with, let's say, a, a scene where I've got a triangulation done of a 3D drawing. I could use a triangulation to texture map or to get my uh, my image situation situated, my photo situated. All right, that's pretty good. Looks like I'm a little bit maybe to one side. What does it look like in 3D? Yeah, maybe just scooch it a little bit up. I could use the drawing tools to make it a little more precise too. Or they move one, uh, you know, specific amounts. Okay, that's pretty good. So now in the, okay, I'm going to toggle this fancy image display. So I've got this selected. Um, I'm going to map now from the drawing menu, project background image as texture. So we'll do that on whatever I pick. So it says select objects. So I'll just pick a section of the car, select parts. working away. Project 3D t texture. Sorry. Try this again. Sorry, I think I got the wrong sequence here. Select objects. Select parts. Okay, there you have it. So now, when I look in my 2D window, I can turn off this texture, and you can see that my shape now has acquired all of the textures uh, that I applied. So I can see in my 2D window here, the uh, one. Oops. See, I've got all this damage onto there. So that's just one, one vehicle. Now, you could use this for uh, probably more more typically for scene information. If you've got skid marks and uh, scene uh, damage uh, shown, uh, you can uh, try you can locate those uh, from the uh, your scene survey and then map that texture on there. So the, the main difference here between uh, 10.2 and 11.0 is that in 11.0 you can do this onto, uh, as textures rather than just recoloring points in a point cloud. So you can see when you zoom into your texture here, you get lots of the detail, whereas if you go in the point cloud, you're not going to see any scratches. You're just going to see the space between atoms. So that is another feature of texture mapping in PC Crash 11.0.